And Glenn, Glenn says, we only chat while we're waiting. Yes, most of us only chat whilst we're waiting. Don't we, everybody? <laughs> Where's the piano, Ethan? It's just here in front of the computer. So, yeah, it's all here. And so if it's got a piano sound. It also has a string sound. Could also have the chapel organ. That's the, that's the trick with uh, with playing the organ, by the way. If you're, wait, if you're waiting for somebody, and I know I should start, but you play a chord, and then every now and then you just change one note. And all of a sudden, you know, you're, you're there. You're, you're in the space. So speaking of which, we're all here, everybody. It's two o'clock. Welcome to Quarantine Choir. Thank you so much for joining me, whether you're watching live, whether you're coming along later on. As I'm fond of saying, you are all welcome. There's plenty of room. Today is a sea-themed special. We're going to look at a new sea shanty, though I'm sure for most of you, the vast majority of you watching, you will know what shall we do with the drunken sailor. But there's going to be a little twist on it today, a slightly changed chorus to just inject a little bit of uh, I suppose fun and excitement into what is to be fair a very well-known song. We'll start in a moment with the beautiful Barra Love Lilt uh, which is all about uh, the sea and about the, the ships out at sea. Of course the Sloop John B is a different experience at sea much more sort of the the sailor on board ship rather than somebody looking out longingly in a sort of romanticized view. What should we do with the drunken sailor? Well, that follows on quite beautifully from Sloop John B. And then, of course, roll the old chariot along, which is about as rousing and as exciting as a piece of music can get. A uh, couple of things before we get started, everybody. So do join me tomorrow at two o'clock for our quarantine chorus rehearsal. And so we have this once a week. For those who are new to the channel, we will learn a piece of class classical music in four parts. There won't be the usual sing songs where we just sing through stuff we already know. We will just approach one piece and we will learn it in four parts. The piece for tomorrow will be from Mendelssohn's Elijah and it's called Cast Thy Burden Upon the Lord. It is a beautiful, very simple bit of harmony. Um, it's almost like a Bach chorale. And uh, for those of you who don't know Elijah, it is an absolutely amazing work. We're going to be doing it in self-isolation choir in the autumn, and I thought it would be a good opportunity for those of you who don't know it to get to know that lovely piece. So that's tomorrow. I also need to let you know on Friday, ladies and gentlemen, Quarantine Choir will be here, but it will be on slightly later than usual. So I'm going to say this quite a few times today, and of course through tomorrow. There will be st still some people who come along uh, at 2 o'clock wondering where we are. We will be on, instead of at 2 Two o'clock on Friday we will be on at three okay so Friday this week and for one day only quarantine choir will not be on at 2 p.m. it will be on at 3 p.m. three is the number thou shalt count and the number of the counting shall be three okay everybody and in case you're wondering why many of you already know I'm going to be going to meet uh, my friend and colleague who I've never met uh, Mark Strawn who uh, between us we run this wonderful self-isolation choir and he and I are going to meet for the first time ever despite having worked closely together for several months uh, and we're going to meet sort of halfway between where he lives in Dorset and here in Bristol and rather than have to cut the meeting short and dash back up the motorway to take choir I thought you wouldn't mind having a slightly later rehearsal so I can have uh, a decent chat with Mark. So what time is it on Friday? Everybody say it for me. Three o'clock. Thank you very much indeed. Okay, so let's get warmed up, shall we? And then we will have a good sing song today. So everybody, if I could invite you, as always, to stand up for me, to be upstanding. And if you could plant your feet, your shoulders width apart and make sure your weight's pressing down into the floor so you really feel connected to the ground. And if you could also make your knees soft so if the music pushes you around and you need to move a little bit left and right, you are very, very welcome to do so. And if I could ask you also to give yourself a straight back and a long neck, everybody, that would be great. And just start, as always, to take some nice deep breaths in and out. And just... Bring yourself into our virtual rehearsal space, this amazing place that we meet 
uh, every day to sing together. And for those of you who aren't able to stand or don't feel like standing today, of course, that is absolutely fine. But if you could also straighten your back, give yourself a long neck and just take those nice deep breaths in and out in your own time. Well, that would be great as well, please. All right, everyone. And as we're getting rid of any air, can I just invite you to breathe out any stress, any tension, any worries, any woes. And you can blow them out towards me if you like. You can blow them out the window. You can blow them into the bin, whatever you want to do. But get rid of anything that's worrying you or bothering you. And as you breathe in, can I just invite you to make that a lovely warm and a lovely uh, confident breath as you breathe in that lovely feeling of singing together, as you breathe out again, just get rid of any stress. That's great. And we're just going to just breathe normally for me for a moment. We're just going to do those breathing exercises that we've been advised to do by our various uh, healthcare organisations. So we're going to take a deep, deep breath in with a tall mouth. We're going to hold that breath for a count of three and then we're going to breathe it out. Then we'll repeat it. We'll hold it for four. Breathe it out. And then one more, which we hold for five. So let's get rid of all our air, please, everybody. <sighs> Open your mouth nice and tall. Breathe in and hold it for three. One, two, three, and blow the air out. <sighs> Make your mouth nice and tall. Breathe in silently for me. And hold it for four. One, two, three, four. Blow the air out. <sighs> Great. Open your mouth nice and tall. Silent breath in. And hold for five. One, two, three, four, five. And blow all that air out. And breathe normally for me, everybody. Great job. Well done. Fabulous. Now, let's think about the shoulders and the neck and the upper body just in general. Just roll everything around a little bit today. Just be aware of how you're feeling. I've got something going on in this shoulder here. So I'm just going to be careful of that. So maybe just roll one shoulder around for me, whichever way you want to go. Roll that shoulder around, please. And roll it forwards. And now roll this other shoulder around, please. And roll it forwards. Great. And bring your shoulders up, everybody. And let them fall. That's wonderful. Thank you, folks. Now, Let's think about our necks, okay, and what we're going to do, we're going to bring our chins towards the camera. So can you push your chin towards me and then take it away so you're tucking it in and give yourself an extra couple of chins. One more time, bring your chin forwards and backwards and to the middle and just tilt your head over to one side. Bring it to the middle, take it the other way, to the middle and let your head fall forwards. And to the middle and just within those three movements left right and forwards please just let your head roll around thank you everybody well done let's do a bit of humming and a bit of singing and warm ourselves up i'm going to allow us the luxury of some piano with strings today you lucky people okay so we'll hum on this nice long note here breathe whenever you like take a deep breath and Still humming. Mm. Now, ooh, ooh. Still, ooh. ooh. All for orange. After me, please, everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And thank you. La, la, la.
Thank you very much indeed, everybody. Well done. Let's, uh, well, first of all, have a sip of drink, please, everybody. Rehydrate yourselves. Cheers. Fantastic job. Uh, just bear in mind, folks, if you're enjoying what we do, do consider giving me that thumbs up. Give us a like. It all helps. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do consider subscribing. Uh, that all helps us a huge amount. Thank you. So let's have a little look at this lovely Barra Love Lilt. We went through this just the other week. Um, if you don't know the song, put, it, put the title of the song into YouTube and the word Home Choir and you'll find our broadcast where I taught this one. Um, we've learned it a couple of times, actually. So I thought this a combination of, uh, of piano and strings for this one to create just that feel of the sea. And I want you to imagine, as you sing this one, that you are standing on, uh, 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 really, by the sea, on perhaps safely on the edge of a cliff, looking out at, the, at an incredible uh, seascape, you know, churning waves, thick clouds uh, an incredible breeze blowing that's that's what i want you to have in mind as you sing this song here we go one fine morning on ohio rose i early on ohio the hill shoulder on Ohio Climbed I early on Ohio To the skyline on Ohio Gazed I seaward on Ohio There a great ship on Ohio, braving high seas on Ohio. On her deck were on Ohio, hundred brave men on Ohio, fairest of them on Ohio, my own dear one, on Ohio, in what haven, on Ohio, she to night rest, on Ohio, there be singing, on Ohio. Beginning. One fine morning on Ohio, rose I early on Ohio, the hill shoulder on Ohio, I'm nigh early on Ohio. Thank you, everybody. Well done. It's such a lovely song. I was just, um, I was playing around with the sounds this morning, thinking, what can I do with that? And it really was just the combination of piano and strings. Just gives it a, a more Celtic feel. It's lovely. Okay, thanks, everyone. Now, let's contrast that. Massive, massive contrast. Let's have the Sloop John B. And for those uh, who were with me when we learned this song, of course, the Sloop John B was a real ship um, that, that ran aground somewhere in the West Indies. And uh, apparently it was infamous um, for, for just being a party ship. And the crew was always drunk and always hopeless. And uh, it ran aground in a storm because the crew was drunk. So uh, with that in mind... Yeah, we've all been on uh, on holidays that we didn't particularly enjoy, but this is a whole other thing. So sing with me, everybody, the fantastic Sloop John B. Here we go. We sailed on the Sloop John B, my grandfather and me. Round 
across our town we did roam Drinking all night, got into a fight Well I feel so broke up, I wanna go home So hoist up the John B. Sail, see how the mainsail sets Pipe up the captain aboard and let me go home Let me go home, I wanna go home Well I feel so broke up, I wanna go home The first mate he got drunk and broke in the captain's trunk The constable had to come and take him away Sheriff John Stone, why don't you leave me alone? Well, I feel so broke up, I wanna go home Chorus, everybody! So hoist up the John B. Sail See how the mainsail sets Pipe up the captain aboard and let me go home Let me go home I wanna go home Well, I feel so broke up I wanna go home The poor cook, he caught the fits Threw away all of my grits and Then he took and he ate up all of my corn Let me go home Why don't they let me go home? This is the worst trip I've ever been on a soul Hoist up the John B. Sail, see how the mainsail sets. Pipe up the captain aboard and let me go home. Let me go home, I wanna go home. Well, I feel so broke up, I wanna go home. <laughs> Cheers all. Well done. Thank you, everyone. Quite a contrast between the first two items today, but not a huge contrast between the second and third, because this is What Shall We Do With A Drunken Sailor? And um, when I first started this channel, all those months ago, uh, we're not quite at, what is it, March, April, May, June, July, not quite at four months. What's the date today? It's the 8th. So that means ninth and Sunday. Sunday will be four months. Sacred Sing Sunday. Four months of quarantine choir. But when I started this quarantine choir all those uh, months ago, I I thought about including Drunken Saber in the first week, but it's a bit obvious. You know, everyone knows it. But as we've gone on and I've taught you all these other sea shanties, people can say, can we do Drunken Sailor? Can we do Drunken Sailor? So we're going to do Drunken Sailor. We're going to use the guitar for this one. And I promise you at the start we're going to do something different because everyone, I think, pretty much knows this one. If you don't, it's the one the chorus goes, Way, hey, and up she rises, way, hey, and up she rises, way, hey, and up she rises early in the morning. That one. Um, but what we're going to do with this one, whenever we sing the chorus, we're going to do something different on the third way, hey, okay? And this is what I want us to do. And I have to say, once you learn it this way, it's quite hard to sing it back the proper way. So apologies for this. It goes, Way, hey, and up she rises. Way, hey, and up she rises. Way, hey, and up she rises early in the morning. I'll do that again. Way, hey, and up she rises. Way, hey, and up she rises. Way, hey, and up she rises early in the morning. Okay, so that third line, you don't sing away hey on the beat, you go 
Way hey and up she rises. So let's just say that together, all right? From the start of the chorus. Speak it out loud, don't sing it. Two, off we go. Way hey and up she rises. Way hey and up she rises. Way hey and up she rises. Early in the morning. Okay, let's sing it. Two, three, four. Way, hey, and up she rises. Way, hey, and up she rises. Way, hey, and up she rises early in the morning. Fabulous. There we go. So every time we do that chorus, third line, let's think about that, third line, way, hey, and up she rises. Now, if you are standing, if you're still standing, Consider stamping the, f the floor on that beat. So we go, way, hey, and up she rises, way, hey, and up she rises, way, hey, and up she rises, early in the morning. Okay, any of you with musical instruments, with drums, anything like that, feel free to get them out and have a sing. So, uh, the verse. Nice and simple. I mean, this is about as simple as a tune gets. It's, what shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? And notice it's early in the morning, not early. What shall we do early in the morning? Early in the morning. Sing it with me. What shall we do? One. Two. What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? Way, hey, and up she rises. Way, hey, and up she rises. Way, hey, and up she rises early in the morning. And that's it. Now, uh, harmony-wise, it's entirely up to you how you treat this. Of course, uh, these songs were, were meant to be sung and harmonized, because, of course, you would have had basses and tenors and altos on board these ships. So when you sing, you could sing, for example, altos, you could go, Way, hey, and up she rises, way, hey, and up she rises, way, hey, and up she rises, early in the morning, or or tune to that effect. Basses. Way, hey, and up she rises. Way, hey, and up she rises. Way, hey, and up she rises. Early in the morning. Couldn't see the key. Early in the morning. Yeah? Tenors, I stick with the tune. Way, hey, and up she rises. Way, hey, and up she rises. And sopranos, the tune an octave up. Okay, let's sing this one all the way through, and I'm sure you all know that there's a, an awful lot of history behind this song. You know, put him in the scupper, put him in the longboat till he's sober. It's a lot of stuff that used to be done to sailors uh, if they if they were found drunk on duty, and a lot of it's not very pleasant. So I'm not going to go into detail as to uh, what a lot of this stuff is, um, but some of it involves um, at one point. Uh, being dragged, be, being tied to a rope and being dragged underneath the boat all the way from the, 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 the bow to the stern and then pulled up again, you know, all, all bleeding and bruised. Sounds like a great life. I, I wonder why people don't live that life anymore. Okay, from the beginning, here we go. What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? Way, hey, and up she rises. Way, hey, and up she rises. Way, hey, and up she rises early in the morning. Put him in the longboat till he's sober, put him in the longboat till he's sober, put him in the longboat till he's sober, early in the morning. Way, hey, and up she rises, way, hey, and up she rises, way, hey, and up she rises, early in the morning. Ah. Put him in the scupper with a hose pipe on him. Put him in the scupper with a hose pipe on him. Put him in the scupper with a hose pipe on him. Early in the morning. Way, hey, and up she rises. Way, hey, and up she rises. Way, hey, and up she rises. Early in the morning. Ah.
Take him and shake him and try and wake him. Take him and shake him and try and wake him. Take him and shake him and try and wake him early in the morning. Way hey, and up she rises. Way hey, and up she rises. Way hey, and up she rises early in the morning. Everybody, what shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? Way hey, and up she rises. Way hey, and up she rises. Way hey, and up she rises early in the morning. And again, way hey, and up she rises. Way hey, and up she rises. Way hey, and up she rises early in the morning. Thank you, everybody. Yo ho ho, as they say, and the butler rum. Oh. Fingers don't fail me now. Great stuff. Okay, can't beat a bit of uh, can't beat a bit of drunken sailor, can you, everyone? So let's finish today with "Roll the Old Chariot," a, a, a song very much in the same sort of line. It's all about you know, what, except it's sung by the sailors. It's not so. What shall we do with this one? It's well, what shall we all do? Uh, uh, and so this is a, a good one to finish on. You know, a, a drop of Nelson's blood for those who weren't here when we learnt this one. When uh, when Lord Nelson died, he his body was transported back to the UK for burial. But of course, it was quite a long way uh, in those days, quite a long time. So in order so he didn't um, go off, shall we say, they stored him in a large barrel of rum. And so thenceforth, if anybody helped themselves to a little snifter of rum on, on whichever ship it was, it didn't have to be on that ship, but it would say I'm going to have a little little drop of Nelson's blood. So there we are. So we'll have uh, this one to finish. And then, of course, we'll be back tomorrow, as I say, with our classical sing. Remember, Friday's quarantine choir will happen, but it'll be at three o'clock. What time will it be? It'll be at... Very good. Thank you very much indeed. So <laughs> bit of roll, the old chariots. Ah, uh, let's see. Okay. Lots of D, D minor today. Ready? Oh, a drop of Nelson's blood. One, two, three. Oh, a drop of Nelson's blood wouldn't do us any harm. Oh, a drop of Nelson's blood wouldn't do us any harm. Oh, a drop of Nelson's blood wouldn't do us any harm. And we'll all hang on behind. So we'll roll the old chariots along. We'll roll the old chariots along. We'll roll the old chariots along and we'll all hang on behind oh a plate of irish stew wouldn't do us any harm oh a plate of irish stew wouldn't do us any harm oh a plate of irish stew wouldn't do us any harm and we'll all hang on behind so we'll roll the old chariots along we'll roll the old chariots along we'll roll the old chariots along and we'll all hang on behind Oh, a nice fat cook wouldn't do us any harm. Oh, a nice fat cook wouldn't do us any harm. Oh, a nice fat cook wouldn't do us any harm. And we'll all hang on behind. So we'll roll the old chariots along. We'll roll the old chariots along. We'll roll the old chariots along. And we'll all hang on behind. Oh, a long spell in jail wouldn't do us any harm. Oh, a long spell in jail wouldn't do us any harm. Oh, a long spell in jail wouldn't do us any harm. And we'll all hang on behind. So we'll roll the old chariots along. We'll roll the old chariots along. We'll roll the old chariots along. And we'll all hang on behind. Oh, a nice watch below wouldn't do us any harm. Oh, a nice watch below wouldn't do us any harm. Oh, a nice watch below wouldn't do us any harm. And we'll all hang on behind. 
So we'll roll the old chariots along. We'll roll the old chariots along. We'll roll the old chariots along. And we'll all hang on behind. So we'll roll the old chariots along. We'll roll the old chariots along. We'll roll the old chariots along. And we'll all hang on behind. Ah. Thank you, everybody. I uh, hope you enjoyed today. I'm just seeing some lovely comments here. Uh, Sir Robert, put him in the bed with the captain's daughter. He shouts, aye, sir. That we will do that, sir. Uh, well, everybody, it's great to see you. Hope all's well. Ethan, sounds like you're getting some really useful uh, advice and medical advice. But I hope you are uh, hope you stay well. All right, see a doctor if you need to, my friend. But everybody, look, great to see you. Thank you so much for being here today. Uh, tomorrow, classical music, that wonderful bit of Mendelssohn. If you don't know it, Cast Thy Burden Upon the Lord is the name of the piece. Very, very simple, very, very beautiful. That's our piece for tomorrow. Friday, we are here. We will be singing, but it won't be at 2 o'clock. It'll be at... Three o'clock. As I said, three is the number thou shalt count, and the number of the counting shall be three. So look forward to seeing you all at two o'clock tomorrow and three o'clock on Friday. I hope everyone is is keeping safe and well, and thank you again for being here. Cheers, folks. Take care. Bye-bye.